Hey friends, we have a quick FTCA update and this one is a lot more positive and I do believe a big part of it is because of you guys. About three days after releasing the video updating you guys on how our FTCA FRIA has been denied, we received a notification that a resubmission has been approved. Now this is a huge deal, but we are not done yet. We really firmly believe that everyone that has been regularly flying, establishing a hobby field, and also wants to be able to grow the hobby should be able to explore having a FRIA, and that FRIA should be, under most circumstances, approved. One thing we are noticing with a lot of the approved FRIAs that are going through the FTCA and what we know of from other CBOs, there is a common pattern. Our next step here is to find out what those patterns are, what those pieces of information that you need to make sure you include on your application are, so you guys have the best opportunity that if you want to be able to grow the hobby, enjoy the hobby without any extra burdensome electronics, you have the ability to do so. So make sure you look for that video in the near future, and I want to give each and every one of you guys a heartfelt thank you um, for what Edgewater has become. Edgewater is a place where people can freely come out and they can learn to fly, they can connect through flight. And because of this free application status being approved, it means that you do not have to bring remote ID onto the grounds to be able to enjoy the hobby. My goal in my heart is to be able to see places like Edgewater grow all over the country where the hobby can be grown and people can be connected. Thank you so much for being part of the Flight Test family and the FTCA family, and we'll see you next time.